everyone. Today I'm going to teach you how to make an animated GIF, G-I-F. You will need to download the free app called PiscoApp.com. Click Create Sprite when ready to start. You need to go to the Resize button and resize before beginning. Set everything to 100, even in your default section. The first time I did it, I didn't set my default to 100, and this is what my pixelation looked like. It looks way too boxy. You can see on the left-hand side we have different sizes for a pen, a bucket to eraser, shapes and a color section where you can choose the colors that you want. On the right hand side we're going to be working with layers and to make our our piece actually look like it's moving we have to create some layers that are like that stay static or stay the same and then there's some layers that are going to move so before we get started we're actually going to click on this plus button and for me I'm actually going to have maybe about five layers some pixel gifts have lots of layers and some of them are really simple um, so we're going to start by naming our layers and the first two layers are going to be our non-moving layers so so, and because we're doing self-portraits, I'm going to call the first layer my background. And to do that, I click on that layer and then up here on that pencil and I'm going to type in background. Now you have to actually press enter on your keyboard for it to stay. Let's label our other layers. Take a look at my list. This is how I labeled them. Don't forget to press enter on the keyboard for it to stick. The background and the face base layers are going to be the ones that don't move. Um, when we click on it, that's the layer we're going to see first. So as I get ready for my colors and my background, I can choose any color. For example, I could start off with just designating this really cool blue. You can see it's appearing over here. That's at that, that 100 pixelation. Um, and if you want to see it a little bit, bit bigger, you can actually click on two times the big size so that you see it all in the one spot. I'm going to choose a different color, maybe a nice green. I'm going to increase my size and really carefully, I'm just going to create some mountainy sort of background. Then I'm going to take my bucket and fill it in. I like that. You can have different varying degrees of value for your backgrounds. Now would be a good time to make sure to save your work. And I'm going to just, before I lose any of my actual information, I'm going to go in here and title this one. I'm going to title this one, Mrs. Weeb's GIF Example. I'm going to save it to my gallery. Okay, um, now that we've saved our first layer called background, we're now going to move to the next layer called face base. I'm going to click right here. Now notice how all of a sudden I don't see that background anymore. I still see it up here on the top right hand viewer window, but not here. If you want to be able to see actually where you placed your background, you're going to have to go up here into um, preference for your settings. And then where it says layer opacity, um, you're just going to increase it. So I, you could have it where you barely can tell at all. I kind of like it a little bit in between so I can still see the pixels and I can see that uh, we have our horizon line in the background we've got our mountains here um, now we're gonna actually create our face and neck shoulders and arm I'm gonna be using um, the circle tool and I have to actually go to the color picker to find a color range that fits close to my skin tone And you can actually use your tool just to actually draw. So sometimes I feel more comfortable just drawing. I actually have some fun with some clothes and I'm going to make myself have a cool purple top. Okay, this looks subpar. But let's say I fill this in and I accidentally go, oops, I filled in my arm. I don't want my arm section to be filled in. You can actually press on your keyboard the control command button and at the same time the Z. And it lets you go back. Um, and you can also continue to use your eraser tool when you're in that base and it's not going to erase any of your background. So 
there I got I'm like a really patterny summery kind of shirt now I also want to make sure that I have hair and so I'm gonna change um, my color picker to create my hair color and my hair color is darker so I'm gonna to go to the top part of my color picker and pick a color and I can go as dark as I want Um, you can give yourself bangs and everything. I also like giving myself areas that are darker because they're in shadow. And then I like to give myself a highlight, which is any tinted color. So I take my hair color and I brighten it. Okay, and before we get going on moving to our eyes, the one last thing that we have to do is our nose. And I find the nose is one of the most difficult. Everyone hates trying to draw noses. So I'm going to go and take my color picker and choose the color of my skin tone that I have for me. Then I'm going to go back to the color area. And for the nose, because it kind of comes out a little bit, it's going to have dark places and lighter places. And so I'm going to start with taking my skin tone and darkening it just a little bit. And I'm going to make an area somewhere right here because I know my eyes are going to be here and my nose is going to be here. I'm going to do it with my tool to make sure it's nice and small. And I'm going to just draw a little bit of a darker section there. Then I'm going to go back to that and I'm going to choose the lightest color in that range. And I'm going to add a lighter color there and I'm just going to play around. And once you have your nose in, you're going to make sure to take that darker color and just underneath the neck, you're going to add just a little bit of a shadow. Um, so to start, we're going to go to our eyes and I got my next layer above. So I'm just going to zoom in a little bit. I'm going to choose the white in my color picker. And then I'm going to pick the circle tour tool um, and then make sure that my pen size is small. You can see them here. Are they in the right spot? They're a little bit low. I feel like I probably could put them a bit higher. Um, if you're feeling like you drew them in the wrong spot, you can press this hand tool and when you grab them, they both move. what I'm going to do is my eyebrows. Now click the mouth layer. When picking your mouth color, you don't need to pick the color pink. In fact, all you do is take your skin tone color and find the value under or darker than that skin tone color. And I want to also take just um, a line that's in the shadow. And if you wanted to add some color, like it has makeup or lipstick, you could add that. I'm going to click now on the clouds. Adding dark and light values in your clouds are going to make them look a lot more interesting. And now we're at the point where we're going to actually start moving our screen stuff. So I could add another layer of things if I want trees or something, um, but for right now I want to keep them all the same. So um, when we go to our my eyes, I'm going to go up here and I'm going to actually add a frame. When I do that, it's going to start to show you my frames per second. Um, and this frame, um, even though I'm looking at my eyes, um, they haven't showed up here. So uh, when I do that, it's just giving me a frame that doesn't have anything on it. So this is actually not the type of frame that I want. I just wanted to show you what would happen. Um, so I'm going to delete that frame and go back to the, to the beginning. And up here, if I put my cursor um, on the, the right bottom corner, um, you're going to see it says duplicate this frame. And I, that's what I want. I want my eyes to come again. So I'm going to, I'm going to duplicate that frame. And now when I click on this, this is the set for the second set of eyes. And zooming in, I can actually pick my color for the skin tone and cover the entire eye to make it look like I'm blinking. When you look at it over here um, on my corner, right hand corner, look at that frames per second. If I increase the frames, look at I'm blinking really fast. 
20 frames per second. Slow blinks, maybe that looks five frames per, I look normal at five frames per second, so I like that. Okay, so now I'm gonna go to my eyebrows. Maybe I have my eyebrows changing. Um, right now on this frames, I'm going to change my eyebrows maybe in the second frame. And in the second frame, I'm gonna grab my eyebrows together and I'm going to actually shuffle them up. Look on the screen over here. You can see my eyebrows are being moved. I can also recolor them into different stuff or I can be like, look at, if I go down, they go with my blink. Hmm, I kind of like that. Maybe I'm gonna go to this one and with my blink, they kind of go with my eyes there. Um, so you can do anything. You can make them angrier or not angrier. Um, you can make them look surprised. There's all these cool things that you can do. So, okay, that one's good. Now I'm gonna go to my mouth. Now my mouth shows up on the frames over here um, on the very bottom one. Maybe I'm going to stick out my tongue. Okay, so now my tongue. Now I can actually have opened my mouth or closed it or made it smile. Um, different gifts, I do different things. So here I'm just like, okay. So I'm gonna just try to change it up a little bit and play around. I'm gonna make myself smile maybe instead. And I might actually duplicate that one more time so that my smile stays longer. And you can see it there. For my clouds, um, in every frame, I'm going to move them as a group. So I'm going to take this um, tool again and grab hold of them and just move them a little bit. And then I'm going to go to the next one and move them and I'm going to watch it in my a little bit. Now when I look in the viewfinder, I can tell that the clouds are going way too fast. So what you could do is you can actually duplicate some of the slides within the section. Okay, after you've saved it to your gallery one more time and you made sure, you can put a description on it or not, um, then you're going to go over here and you're going to click on export. This is the button right here with the little mountain. You want to size your resolution to 500. Okay, you don't need to go bigger than that, but so I'm just going to change this to 500. Um, and then um, I want it to loop repeatedly. If you don't want it to loop, it only goes once and then stops and someone has to play it. You would have to unclick that. And then I'm going to download that. That's just so that I get it as a file. If you want to upload it somewhere, you can also upload it. But right now we're just going to download into your own computer. So here I go. It's downloading my animation and now I want to look at it. So let me take a look and see how it turned out. Well, I think it totally worked out. I even took a little bit of time afterwards to play around and do some more GIFs. Here's another one I came up with. Hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Have fun creating some fun GIFs.